Search and rescue aircraft deploy to try and find Mozambique Airlines Flight 470. But it's park rangers in Namibia's remote Wabwata National Park who first come across a tangle of wreckage. It's clearly Mozambique Airlines Flight 470. All 27 passengers in the flight crew are dead. The site is in a roughly 280-mile strip of Namibia, straddling Botswana and Angola, putting the investigators from Namibia's DAAI in charge. OK, we have a lot of ground to cover. Let's find the point of impact. The team combs through the debris for any clues that could help explain the crash. The last radar plot of the flight showed the plane was in an unusually steep descent moments before the crash. But the crash site adds important details. OK, so the plane came down there and was headed in this direction, towards Luanda. Flight 470 was headed in the direction of its destination. It was not off course. Investigators look for other wreckage patterns to see what else they can learn. Right. At the point of initial impact, investigators find two nearly identical pits. 32 feet. That's the distance between the two engines. It's an important lead that shows the investigators the way in which the plane hit the ground. Okay. Investigators studied the actual shape of the crash site. OK, we're 487 meters from the first point of impact. The wreckage pattern is long and narrow. The extensive trail of debris leads to one possibility. Maybe they were trying to land. To answer that question, the team examines the landing gear. Tires aren't blown. No damage to the treads. No puncture marks. They were retracted. This wasn't an emergency landing. It's the first tangible clue about what the pilots may have been doing. They weren't trying to land. Why were they coming in so fast? 